flat. Dennis runs into traffic, loses it to Parker. Here's Hall finding the former county ally, Boschel, who sweeps it out to the left wing now for Brooksby. Brooksby's going to take on Lees here, gets it onto his right foot, don't let him shoot, they have, and he has scored. County being hassled and harried here by Geisley. That goal has given them a lift. But Milligan's worked it out to the right for Lees. Here's Milligan again with the long diagonal towards Jevons. Great first touch and his second touch turns it into the back of the net. And County were behind for just two minutes. And the veterans linking up brilliantly. Milligan with a cross from the right wing. Jevons an outstanding first touch and a control shot in off the post. And County are level at one all. Absolutely fantastic from all of Danger Man in this game to change shortly. As the attendance uh, which will be 2,764 is announced. 2,764. Here's uh, Jevons crossing from the right. The keeper fists it away. Duxbury clips. Long way from goal. Clips it in again. Jevons! Beaten! What a brilliant control volley by Phil Jevons. That is a magnificent finish from a magnificent player. Great ball in. Wonderful finish. 3 2. John, I wondered where that goal was going to come from because we just saw the bizarre sight of a 1 2. Halloran again. Halfway line. County playing with a, a 4 2 4 at the moment. Cleared again by Geisley. Up to Boys. They've got three against three again as they break. But Charnock can play it back to Ian Ormson. The Hatters have got to get the ball forward as quickly as possible. Ian Ormson up towards halfway. The fans urging him to clear it quickly. He's just trying to narrow the distance. That's a push on Battersby. Right on the edge of the box. The referee, eagle-eyed, awards the free kick to the Hatters. And look at that. Mark Lees has patted Jamie Milligan on the shoulder. This is your moment, pal. Come on, son. Have a crack. I this tell you is what, your moment. If the referee had missed that push on Battersby, he wouldn't have got out of Edgeley Park. And Mark Lees is saying, I've just walked ten steps and look where I'm standing, referee. This could well be the last kick of the game. It's Milligan. It's deflected. It's a penalty. Gargi on penalty in the last minute of the game. Bill Jevons, how is your nerve? Go and get a hat trick. There could be a hat trick for Jevons here. Claim the match ball. Oh, my word. Kino Mark Pallon, the exact boss, can't even look, he's looking the other way. What a finish. What a finish to this game. Drench is trying to hold this up as long as possible. Drench is taking a drink. I've got to be honest, I didn't see it. I, I don't care. Let's say it, let's say it was on board. I didn't see it. it the ball One was of them was it. The Put ball his arm was travelling really fast and it hits the wall and you know. You've seen him given, you've seen him not. Jeff over take. Jevons to take this spot kick. Milligan has won the penalty. Jevons could claim a hat trick and a vital point for County. It's Jevons. It's in football and we have seen justice today the Geisley players are saying now come on referee how the oh, hell the whistle's gone Pete how the whistle's the gone we're going to get out of the way of that because Milligan has fired that ball into the wall but more than 10 yards away and it has hit a Geisley player's hand and they are saying to the referee well how on earth can we get out of the way of that because he's just hit straight at us the referee is saying it's a penalty kick Count deserve it County deserve a point